Today, we'll teach you how to improve your defending against speedy forwards, which can always be a bit of a trick. But with the help of our resident Finnish mountain of a defender called Timo, we'll make sure you know how to do it if you come up against a speedy guy like Yasin here. Of course, in a real game, defending is mostly about how the defensive line works as a unit and how the support, backup and filling of space works. Here, an easy way of dealing with fast players would be to drop the whole defensive line deep. But since we're talking about teaching you some tips as an individual, we'll look more into 5 tips for exactly that. Number 5. Don't get too close. Try to avoid getting too close to the attacker in any circumstance, except for in the penalty area where there isn't too much space to run into anyway. That will give you more time to forecast his movements and of course to react. A good rule of thumb is to stay an arm's length away from the attacker. Number 4. Run towards the goal. If shit happened and you end up in a running race, you might want to run towards your own goal instead of directly trying to catch the attacker. There will be backup sooner or later, and if you end up running directly after the attacker, it might not end too well for you. Number 3. Show who's the boss. If you end up against your speedy opponent in an air duel, which let's be honest you're gonna win anyway, highlight a bit of your power so you can show who's the man in the house. It's a great way to get a mental advantage. Just remember, it's okay to hurt, but not to injure. Play safe, play fair. Besides, you don't want to let the team down by getting a red card, do you? Number 2. Force the attacker to one side. Always try to close one route and force the attacker to move on either side with the ball, preferably the non-danger zone which is usually to the side of the pitch instead of mid lane. You simply do that by opening up your body towards the side you want the attacker to go, inviting him to take the easy route instead of having to go through you. Because he's not gonna want to do that because he knows he's gonna get hurt. Especially if you took him down in the air duel. And finally number one, play it safe. When you've got the ball or in general your team is in possession, you might be pressed by the speedy attacker. And here, you need to make sure to let go of the ball early, play it safe and get those boring secure passes coolly going between the defenders, showing that the speed and the rage is simply just a big waste of time. So there you go my friends, some tips on how you can defend and that will hopefully help you if you ever find yourself in the unfortunate situation of facing a faster opponent. But what should we look into next? Let us know in the comment section right down below. Now if you are gonna face a speedy attacker and you need a new pair of speed boots to help you out a bit, look no further than unisportstore.com via the link to your right. And also, don't forget to go and sub with the notifications on to see even more tutorial vids in the future. Finally, go learn some more cool stuff via the playlist in your bottom left. And with that said guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.